Okay, now we've got our network physically connected and we've got it actually configured correctly, we should be able to use our network. Now we actually did that a moment ago. If you remember our wireless router over here is actually a web server as well. We know it's IP address, I can just hover over it. Uh, so he said, and it was selecting it, so give me a second, let's go back. We can hover over it and there's its IP address, 192.168.0.1. So we can go on to any of the devices, we'll do it from the laptop this time. Go to the web browser and just type the address in 192.168.0.1 uh, and they go, we connect it to a web page and we log in with admin and admin, the default password. So there you go, we've browsed a website, okay, it's only the router. What else can we do? We can ping across a network. So if we look at the PC up here, it's got the address ending in 200. So I can go to this PC down here. I can go to my desktop and I can pull up the command prompt. Uh, I can type ipconfig and see my own IP address here, dot and I can ping 192.168.0.200 and there you go, I get my replies back. So there you go, that's my network actually working. The view that we've got at the moment is the real time view. So as we do things in our network, they're happening in real time. So if that's real time, what's the other modes? The other mode is simulation mode. This is where we have control over time and we can actually see the packets flowing. Now, when we start looking at packets in the network, there's loads and loads of different packets flowing all the time in the background and we own, we will be swamped by everything going on. So generally what we do is we need to come into here and we need to look at these filters down here to see which ones we want. So we're going to say show all none initially and then I'm going to edit filters and I'm just going to come across for the ones I'm interested in uh, because we're going to ping and we'll do some web. I'm going to select HTTP and I'm going to select ICMP under there it is and IPv4 ICMP okay so you'll notice down here oh we've got ICMP where did my HTTP go the misc HTTP there you go so I've got HTTP and ICMP we've got control over time now so if I just go back on to this PC here and do the web browser thing again I'll open up the web browser, I'll put in the address 192.168.0.1 and hit go. Now you'll notice I don't see the web page come back. And nothing seems to have happened at the moment. I've said go down here. Nothing's happened on the network. But now I've got control over time. So I can just start playing or I can step forward. So I'm going to step forward and there you go. There's my packet being formed at the PC. It's a HTTP packet and I can go in and I can look at the details of it. I can then step forward through time as the request goes out to the router and the request comes back and there you go as it came back this was the authorization so I can now type in admin and admin and say OK and now if I carry on it should send the request back there you go. The request goes back and my reply comes back. And we go back onto the PC. There you go, the web page is applied. So that is the simulation mode.